The goals of technology at Frontiers is really simple. It's to maximize the quality of the articles and to really augment and enhance our human decisions by bringing insights that we wouldn't have access to otherwise. So all of this is really to give back time as well to researchers so that they can focus on what is most important for them, their research. And we've built a lot of um, applications that really cover the entire life cycle of an article. But there is one outstanding one, and that is IRA, our Artificial Intelligence Review Assistant. And I'm going to mention her a few times throughout my presentation. Now, there are really four key pillars that are important to maximizing the quality, and our applications are touching all of them. So let's start with collaboration. We've always seen the aspect of reviewing an article as much more than just validating the work that has been done. This is really the moment where all the experts come together, where there is an opportunity to not just validate, but improve upon something. So on our platform, authors and reviewers can interact directly with each other. And this exchange and this feedback loop actually makes the work better. And of course, we acknowledge them for this, but at the same time, we create accountability for it by showing their names right next to the article. And this way, they're only um, endorsing the manuscripts that they really think are of high quality and that they want to be associated with it. That is a, something very powerful. And we go even further, and with just one click on a name on any of our articles, it takes our viewers to a full research profile where they actually see their academic contribution as well as their editorial contributions. And with this way, we really create full transparency so that you know who is behind this article and who stands with their name for it. Now that takes me um, to Riga. And this is really where I think technology can have the most profound impact, actually. This is the place where IRA is suggesting the best experts to review an article, as an example. A functionality that is available to all of the editors as they're editing. And I'm gonna show you how this works and I hope all of you are gonna take the chance at your net editing assignment to try this out. So what you see here is our review forum. I hope you're all familiar with it. And it's the view of a handling editor. And IRA suggests reviewers based on their expertise. And for every suggestion, she also explains why this person has been suggested by showing the five most relevant publications and highlighting the key terminology that it has in common with the submitted manuscript. And in most cases, Ira is really spot on here, but even if she isn't, we give full control of the algorithm to our editors so that they can tell Ira what is really important to them. So it's really just a touch of a slider telling Ira what is more important and what less, a click of a button, and within a few seconds, there will be a brand new list of generated reviewer suggestions available to invite. I think this is truly amazing. But we go further and we have really stringent quality checks set up for all our articles, for the manuscripts themselves, but also for the review process. And many of these quality checks are powered by IRA and supported by IRA. But there is always a human in the loop that is validating these concerns that IRA is raised and addresses them. But I think the probably best way to show you the power of technology here is to take one example and show you one particular check that we're doing. So this is our image integrity check. In this place, we have an algorithm that looks through all the figures that are being submitted and it looks for repeated patterns within these images. What you see in this example is that Ira found that two images have this type of repeated pattern and it highlights them so that our internal staff, but later on also the editors can look at why it's there. And there are many reasons why this is totally fine to be there, but this is also one of the prime ways how we can detect manipulations inside of images. Now we can do this by now in many different type of figures. And I think it's quite easy to say that it's almost impossible for a human to spot these type of things. You would need to be highly trained and very experienced, but IRA can really do this without any problem. And we've trained IRA in a way that it can detect these patterns, even if they are rotated as an example, or even if they are stretched out. Again, something incredibly powerful. And this is really the only way how we can systematically make it possible to check every single figure at this level.
So you see another example in here, we can also do it in images and the algorithm is actually trained to first even detect which are the areas that it specifically needs to look at. So really it's a great way for us to spot the issues and also to show it to the people by highlighting it. I really hope that, you know, I could show you with these examples why we need this type of technology to get to this level of quality. IRA is already today helping us make better decisions. And we are so excited about the progress that we've made that we really want to keep developing IRA into being more than just a review assistant, but one day become a full-fledged research assistant. I think that can excite all of us, but I'm also happy that we find a lot of other people that share our vision for the future. And IRA has actually become famous already. There have been quite a few articles written about her, for instance, in the New York Times or in the IEEE Spectrum. And I would really encourage you, if you're interested, to go and, and have a read. They're, they're great articles. And I hope that I could show you why technology is important here and what value it can provide.